talk to four of our viewers here, and they all say that they have skincare confessions. So here to help us out, she's new to us, but not to the planet Earth, let me tell you. This is a doctor who has 2.5 million followers on Instagram, and her most popular YouTube videos have been viewed over 36 million times. This is Dr. Sandra Lee, and I'm obsessed with her shoes. <laughs> What is your big skin sin? <laughs> My confession is that I am a pimple popper. I have, oh, yeah. I just have to. I have to pick at them and pop them. I know it probably makes it so much worse, but I just can't help it. You is can't it, stand the idea of it staying uh -huh. in your skin. I yeah. get it, is I get it, it. Is it really that bad? I, I love how she says it. I'm a pimple popper. <laughs> I know. I she love that. She made it sound so elegant <laughs> yes. and cool. Well, I'm a pimple I'm popper a pimple too. Papa. Because that's you know, what I my do. My sister was one of those creepy girls that not only did she go after her own skin, she would go after like her boyfriend's. <laughs> She's not <laughs> creepy. So She's one of my people. We call them popaholics. Oh. I'm also known as Dr. Pimple Popper. As a dermatologist, I'm going to tell you don't pop your pimples, but I know a lot of us are going to do it anyway. So at least I can tell you the best way or the, the, the smartest way to do so. First, of course, you want to clean your hands. You want to clean your instruments. You want to prime your skin. Maybe take a shower with a little steam or a pasta facial or something. Yes, yes. Yes. And one of the most important things to know is actually what type of acne you have. And I'm going to show this to you in form of desserts. The first one we have here are blackheads and whiteheads, which are called comedones. But these are in terms of Rice Krispie treats, OK? <laughs> so blackheads and whiteheads are like the building block of acne. And, and they can really be treated by over-the-counter salicylic acid treatments. You can also get an instrument like this, which is called the comedone extractor. And you can use this to extract, once you prime your skin, to extract your blackheads. These are whiteheads here, so we're going to extract them. You see what you do? You just push. You obviously don't make a dent in the skin like that, but you know. These are pimple cupcakes. These are pimples and pustules. This is the second stage of acne. And these are the kinds that you could potentially squeeze if you're going to squeeze anything. But be really careful, because remember this, that the more su superficial the pimple is, the yeah. more it's come to a head, the more safe it is to pop it, and the more ready it is to be popped. There's certainly a time to pop and a time to stop. You can use a tissue paper or even your fingers, clean fingers. And come on, Rachel, look. No. You can squeeze your pimple and make sure you get all that stuff out. And then you're good. It's a cupcake, people. Come on. It's the most severe form of acne. These are cysts and nodules. These are more um, something that you should see a dermatologist for because we need to prescribe you. Prescri this is something you so can't So something pop, that obviously. does not come to a head. Something you that really may not alone. come to a head. You could really likely. damage your skin. Yes. And, and you know, we can do things in the office even. We can inject you with a little corticosteroid, which can actually make a zit like this go away in 24 hours.